okay so now in this video we will change the enemy kill counter and also when the player is killed then we will restart the game so first of all we will create a new c -sharp script by the name of gameplay controller press enter and also right here we will create a new game object by the name of gameplay controller we will simply reset the transform and add the script to it now let me simply open up the script right here we will remove these two functions and we will create a variable right here then we will create another one so serialized speech it will be type text and it will be enemy kill count text then the next one will be the enemy kill count then after this we will create a private void awake function and inside this function we will check if the instance is equals to null then we will say instance is equals to this then after this we will create a new function and this will be public void enemy kill and in here what we will do after every enemy we kill so we will say enemy kill plus plus and then we will say enemy kill count text dot text and this will be equals to enemy kill and we will plus it with the enemy kill count so for example let's say we kill three enemies so it will say enemy killed and then right here it will show three okay and also for restarting the game when the player dies so for that we will say word restart game and in here we will restart the game after three seconds when the player die so right here we will create another function by the name of restart and inside this function we will say unity engine dot scene management dot scene manager dot load scene and we will load our scene and the scene name is as you can see right here sample scene so get back right here type sample scene that's it and then in here we will call the restart function so type invoke then restart and we will restart the game up every three seconds when the player die and also don't forget to add the unity engine dot ui at the top and now we want to call this restart game function when the player dies so that code is on the player health script right here we will say gameplay okay gameplay controller dot instance dot restart game and also we need to change the number of kills so we will do that after the enemy died so that is on the enemy health script right here when we inform the enemy spawner list that the enemy is killed so right here we can just basically copy this line of code from here simply paste it right here and change the function name to enemy kill it is enemy kill the case capital now let's just save this all and get back to unity okay now if we click on this gameplay 
and we will simply drag and drop this right here this enemy kill count and now if we play the game and let the enemies come to me let them come where are they come on man Jack Sparrow is waiting for you let me see where the enemies are okay so they are coming towards me now let's kill the enemy now as you can see it shows that enemy killed one enemy killed two whoops a lot of pirates are attacking on me and now when they kill me you will see that the game will be restarted okay as you can see the game is restarted and also the enemy kill count work as well so now our game is created and if we see this as you can see we have a bit design problem I don't know why what happened right here okay let's change the order in there to 2 as you can see right here and for this one as well change this to 2 and now it looks better and also we need to show the floating city right here so select this back decker if you are following my design and change the order in there to 1 and as you can see now the floating city is now showing up let me just do that and ok now our design looks perfect and now mostly our design is now completed as you can see right here we can kill enemies and the enemies can kill us too but we have one more video for this gaming project which one is for the sound effects so when the player shoot a bullet then we will add a sound effect of a gunshot but we will do that in the next video so see you guys in the next video